not just in their native country of Turkey, but uh, pretty high expectations for this team internationally. Taurus now leading the way towards the B site. Yo, gonna get that initial headshot from the first container. Gets a second. Looking for three. He's got Chill backing him up from that corner pillar of sight to drop one. But x Flood trading back plus one as he clears default. Chill still at E-Box makes the re-peak x Flood down. Maybe with a chance at this despite it being a 1v3. He's going to have to deal with Belchonic right here. Back site, boosted red boxes, but Kallax does not have that info. Inbound here at the B side, and indeed EF does have all five players here at the B stairs. Just over 50 seconds remaining. EF does have time to fall back, but they look fairly committed here. Utility and smokes being used towards site EF. Looking to get control of B-Sight now. They push Yo back at those back grates. They have him down. Chill at that close interior wall by default. Does get one. Trade goes out. Box still at back container there behind E-Box. Does get one. Bomb planted default. Three on three situation here post plant. Amiga working with two silenced M4s. I disbalance still with that Arctic Warfare Magnum. He's moving up. Behind E-Box now, all three CTs in generally the same spot here. By default, Velchonic fakes the diffuse. He's taking damage through that smoke from the top of the beast. There's Emor on the peak from first container. Does kill one, but the diffuse is stuck there. But, uh, EF is going to... At the top of ramp now. He is going to let himself be heard. EF making quite a bit of noise now. And Box with the A1S spam. And then the nade kill onto Woxic. I just bounce. Going to drop another with the AWP. A back alley. Zantar especially through the smoke. Does get an AK headshot there. Inside and I just bounce. Misses a shot. He absolutely should have hit there onto Zantaris. But chill there to clean things up. Box steps in to get that final kill onto x -Cloud. X Cloud with the C4 at his side. I disbalance. Boosted. Front sight red box there. And he's got visuals on Eternal Fire. Defensive Molly tossed at back alley. Zantaris continuing to lead the way into sight. Partially blind. Still gets the kill on the Belchonic. X Cloud backing him up. Kills Box just to the side of default. Emor able to kill. I disbalance back sight. The Opera is down. And that's going to leave only Yo remaining here for Namiga. And it looks like EF will finally get around on the board. Got to make sure they're ready to get the trade if needed. I just bounce on the early peak there. Upper mid, Zentaris down. Has rotated back towards B. Emor leading the way up to B. Sirs, Yo has been spotted behind first container. Yo down. And Namiga not in the position to trade out there at the B site. Additional flashes and utility being used towards B here. The Molotovs on default have dissolved. Emor able to get another kill there at the interior while chilled down to, excuse me, single man advantage here for Eternal Fire. Bomb has been planted. Default x -Flat on the peak towards back site does get one, but Belchonic right there in back site for the trade. Belchonic is below half HP. Emor able to get his third kill on the round as he peeks behind E-Box. And that's where Belchonic is as well. And it's a 4K. And even though Namiga doesn't have an op here and Yo is on the FAMAS as well, I still feel like we've got a solid shot at taking this round. But Zantaris looking to swing things for EF here. Upper mid does pick I disbalance. Nice headshot there. From first boost box, Zantaris able to get a second kill as well, but Belchonic able to trade back through the smoke. Belchonic actually going to take down x -Fob, but Zantaris going to get traded out as well. Three on three situation, bomb not planted. Yo still by center default on the B site. But EF keeping a keen eye there towards default, and they do take down Yo, Woxic. One more there. Upper mid box does get one defensively here at the B side at that interior wall, but Calix 
Centaurus again, leading EF towards A. They've been spotted at upper ramp. Box gets flashed. X Cloud able to get that initial kill on the box. I disbalance on the peak from back alley. Drops one, leaving us in a four on four situation. Belchonic still low on health, but it's Woxic registering that next kill from Yeltar to back alley with the AWP and EF with a great shot at overtaking the A site and winning this round. X Cloud still lurking here towards back alley. He's got backup, but Belchana keeping on that location from the red boxes inside. But Wox is going to take him out with the AWP. X Cloud going to get that final kill back of the A site. So some light damage exchange between both teams, but there's the first kill going out. It's Emor. It'll take down Belchonic partially through the smoke there on ramp. And things look to be very interesting here. Contact surely about to be made here at the top of the B stairs. Emor leading the way into the B side, but chills on the flank from B lobby. Drops two with the A1S. And he's still alive. Emor still pushing into the B side. Meanwhile, drops two after whipping a 180 there by default. Kalix eventually able to take out Chill there on the flank. It's only Box remaining for an Amiga and Woxic with a nice reaction shot with the AWP mid range there. This Eternal Fire does have a pretty solid CT side on Vertigo, so he's definitely concerning right now. For an Amiga, yo, partially blind, still comes up with the op headshot there from B to the B stairs. So great start to the round for Namiga. Can they capitalize off that? Eternal Fire still with several players lurking over by the B stairs, including the C4. Zantaris making his way up the B stairs does headshot Chili. At default, Zantaris continuing to push through. His teammate tagged down to a single HP behind him. That was Box. Eventually, Zantaris falling as well, but not before taking Yo down. And it's only a single man advantage now for EF and Woxtick with only seven health. I disbalance and Belchonic on the CT side, both with still full HP, but x -Flow doesn't care how much health you have. He's got that flank angle. From the CT boost box does headshot Belchonic there. x with that late peak upper mid. Box on the push down A ramp drops two with the A1S. x does get the trade but it's Belchonic trading back for two. From ramp with the A1S, that's gonna leave only Calix. Calix on the peak from lower A ramp, taken down by I disbalance there. And it looks like Namiga is rushing up the A ramp with all five players. A couple of them slowing down in the back and heading off towards back alley, but yo, oh, he's actually rerouting from top ramp towards back alley as well. Box leading the way out back alley, but it's Emor with dualies dropping three all headshots. Absolutely ridiculous play from Emor. Yo does trade back plus one. Emor is down 2v2 situation. And the dualies are now in Yo's possession. Calix moving in from back of the A side does headshot box. It's only Yo remaining. He switches back to a USP. He hears that diffuse. Woxic hopping off the diffuse now. As Yo makes the wraparound on the A ramp. Yo with 51 health. He's going to need to work quickly here. He goes for the reload, but he's not going to have time to do that. He's taken down by Calix. Eternal Fire patiently awaiting Namiga to push A, which they are. This is all five Namiga players pushing up the A ramp. Zantaris on the peak from Sandbags does down chill. Woxic stepping out. To lend a helping hand here, Zantaris eventually taken out there at Sandbags, but Woxic taking down two there. Emor able to get that initial stop as he pushes upper mid, able to kill another there towards ladder room. 
did lose a teammate over at the A site, but it's still a man advantage here for Eternal Fire. Chill all the way at the top of the B stairs here in Cubby. Xfloud near default. Chill on the peak does kill Xfloud at Redbox's default. Emor able to trade it back from the CT boost box. Emor with only four health, dropping some utility to his teammate there in CT spawn. And it looks like I Disbalance and Box going to try to make their way onto the B site now with the C4. I Disbalance going straight for that plant on default. Does get the bomb planted. But he's not able to survive. Zantara's moving in from front site, drops I Disbalance, walks it from back side, gets that final kill onto Box. Alex moving in from back alley. Does take down Yo. Gets a second kill after peeking out from Yellow Tarp towards Ram. Emor able to headshot Chili. But I just bounce trading back for two before Emor does get that final certain tier two, tier three teams get close to them anymore. Even though EF is not quite in that tier one range yet. X Cloud with a nice. Stomp there over towards the B site. And Amiga not able to get a trade. Centaurus at upper mid does take care of I Disbalance. Trade does not go out again. And Centaurus waiting for his moment. Able to headshot Yo after he lost his teammate there upper mid. Belchonic did trade back onto Centaurus. Man, advantage here for Eternal Fire. X Fod good for another A1S kill over at the B side. And it's only Belchonic remaining to keep Namiga in this matchup. He's not able to do so. And with that, Eternal Fire has clinched victory. <laughs>